Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 7th grade concept of solving scale problems. This is standard 7.5c in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 18 off the 2016 release star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So Corbin made a scale model of San Jacinto Monument, and it has an actual height of, here's one of our numbers, 604 feet. The scale is one inch, represents 100 feet. And then what is the height in inches? All right, so we have two different methods that we can use here. So first, what we can do here is let's probably take the easiest route. That would be making a proportion, because take a look at what we have here. We've got feet, we've got feet, we've got inches, so we've got three terms with a number, and then this one term that doesn't match, one inch, is the one that we're missing. So that just screams proportion to me. So let's see, 604 feet. So we're gonna make our little proportion here over how many inches did it actually, I'm gonna make my proportion of the actual uh, scale model to the actual height. So this is my missing inches. So I'm gonna just be looking for that. Now I need to go ahead and put my ratio here. So my 100 feet over my one inch. And if you take a look at this, right, cross multiplication lets us know that we need to do this, but it's super easy because the scale is 100 to one. So really it's 604 times one. So I'm just gonna write 604 equals 100 and then inches, right? So if I wanna find my uh, inches and if that's my uh, variable here, then I just need to divide both sides by 100 that cancels itself out. And I need to just divide 604 by 100. If I want to, I can uh, actually just go ahead and do my long division, right? 100 into 604. I will show you a shortcut in just a moment. But you can always do it this way. 100 goes into six, nope, 60, nope, 604, yes, yeah, six times. So that's gonna be 600. But that's only gonna give me four, so I need decimal zero. 100 does not go into 40, but I can bring down another zero. It goes into 400 four times, and that's going to be fine. So 6.04 or 6 and 4 hundredths. Now, if you know that multiplying by 10 or 100 just moves the decimal to the right or add zeros, you know that dividing by 10 or 100 just moves the decimal to the left or removes zeros. Well, we don't have any zeros here in 604 at the end that we can remove, but we can take our decimal. We can move it over once, twice, because there are two zeros here, and we get that same answer. So the scale model is going to have a height of 6.04 inches. Now, I mentioned there were two different ways to do this. We could also just use our equation y equals kx, right? And so we actually have our rate of change right here is gonna be this 100, because they gave it that scale of 100 over one, but that's the one we used right here, but we could just call that 100. It'd be a little bit easier, since we don't need that as a fraction. The only thing we need to realize is that this 604, this is our that is our dependent variable, because that's the actual height. What we need here is our x, our independent variable, how many inches it starts with. And then once we do that, guess what? We're doing the same thing. We're just dividing both sides by 100. So the only trick here is now we've got to bubble this in. We could do all of this work and get it incorrect, because there's no f, g, h, or j to choose from. So you've got uh, decimal that you can't use, you get two digits to the right of the decimal, you're gonna have four digits to the left of the decimal. We've got six and four hundredths, so we're gonna have to make sure our six goes right there in the ones place, zero, four, and then just bubble them in, and we are good to go.